Uh, hi everyone, it's Michelle. Welcome back. So today I thought I would share with you a bit of a cumulative haul. I, uh, I have my Sephora VIB sale items that I picked up and I have a few Chanel items to share with you as well. So let's jump right in and get started. So at the Sephora VIB sale, uh, first of all it was only 15% which isn't a huge amount of money. And I really wanted to try to behave myself and just get things that I really sort of needed. Um, and I really did stick to that. So uh, the first thing I picked up was one of the ooh, one of the medium size Z palettes from Sephora. So I needed something to put my Anastasia shadows in. So I already owned all of these shadows. They, I did not purchase the shadows. I just purchased the medium size Sephora Z palette which I really like the size of this. Uh, this is a great palette if you're going to travel because you, you, you could take more than just a few shadows with you but it's still small enough to travel with and these are very durable. So I picked up one of these for my shadows that I didn't have a place to put them. Um, and then the other thing I picked up was some skincare. I while I am working through my skincare stash and I want to stick to that because a lot of the skincare I have is really really good so if I didn't need it there was a lot of skincare items I wanted to buy but because I'm trying to stick to that I was very careful about what I bought but I was almost out of my C serum and I did want to try the Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum uh, this is a 15% uh, alexorbic acid serum and uh, I just started using it so I can't say much about the actual you know whether I think the product works or not but I will tell you this is what the packaging looks like the packaging is really really nice it's a twist up pump and you know so easy clean sanita you know no issues with you know it's very hygienic and it keeps the C serum which is very unstable you know airtight which is really nice um, I did start using this about three days ago and I do really like the way it feels on the skin. I like it's a it's a thin serum. It is a vitamin C serum, so it has that really strong vitamin C serum smell. A lot of people say it smells like a hot dog to them. So if you are opposed to that, this is probably not the serum for you. That doesn't really bother me because it does tend to go away very quickly. Um, but so far, so good with this. I do want to read you a little bit about this. Um, so this is a super potent vitamin C serum packed with powerful antioxidant complex, essential nutrients, fruit enzymes, and an anti-aging chronopeptide that transforms into vitamin D. This formulation works synergistically to firm and brighten skin while preventing and correcting photo damage and aging. So vitamin C serum is very important. I'm still, you know, I love the Timeless C serum, but I'm always trying new ones. Um, this one's so far so good. It takes me two pumps to do my face, neck, chest, and the back of my hands. So I'm not sure how long this will last. It is a little bit expensive. Um, although, you know, and I do want to try other Drunk Elephant skincare items, but because I'm still working through my stash of skincare, um, I held off. But I did need some vitamin C, so I grabbed that. This is, um, that is all I got at the Sephora VIB sale which I'm very proud of myself for not doing much more damage than that. But I didn't feel like I needed any makeup. And again, I was really trying to stick to things I knew I sort of needed. Um, and I knew I was going to buy some Chanel items at a 20% discount. So I figured that was a better deal than the 15% I was getting at Sephora. So let's talk about the Chanel items that I did pick up. I will say that I was able to get the Chanel items at a 20% discount because there, there is a Dillard's counter in Tennessee that is in friends and family for Chanel right now, which means Chanel skincare, Chanel makeup, and Chanel fragrance. And they are in friends and family, which means 20% off until the 28th of April. So you still have time, which is one of the reasons I wanted to share this with you. And uh, my contact there, I will put his information below. This is his cell phone. You can text him or you can call him and he would be happy to help you. They will ship it to you in the U.S. for free. If you are an international shopper and you want to shop, you can call him and they will ship internationally. It's just not free shipping if you, if you are an international shopper. So let me tell you what I picked up. I didn't get a whole lot of things, but I did get a few. Let's talk about makeup first. So I picked up one of my favorite 
things from Chanel, which is the waterproof eye stilos. These are the twist up eye pencils. Um, I have talked about these many times. It's just a twist up pencil. Has a sharpener on the end if you need if you like to keep it sharpened, which I like, so you can get a nice fine point on it. These waterproof eye pencils for me work so so great on the waterline. Um, they do work really well on the lash line. They are a more waxy formula, so if you're going to work them on your lash line, you got to warm the pencil up on your hand first. But what I love about these is once you put them on and you could blend them or whatever, they don't budge. They literally stay until you take them off and they're a little bit hard to get off, which is why I love having them for my waterline. I got uh, 88 Noir Intense, which is a super dark black. I'm not gonna open that one because I actually have one here that I can show you that I, I use on a regular basis. It's just a super dark black. See how dark it is? Chanel makes many colors in this pencil. They make a regular black. I think it's number 10. It's called Ebene or Ebene or something like that. They make a really great dark brown that I like. I own so many of these. They really are nice. And if you are a water liner person, you should try this because it does stay on really, really well. And it doesn't irritate my eye at all. So I really like these. Um, and they're a twist up so you don't have to carry a sharpener with you. And if you like a sharper tip, you can use the sharpener that is attached, which is really nice. Okay. So I love that. Then I wanted to try one of the shadow sticks. Chanel started making these, I think fairly recently, I don't know, um, but I don't own any and I thought this was a good time to get a 20% discount on them and try them out. So I got the color 187 <coughs> Brune Chatan, I don't know, Chatane. Um, it's just like a soft taupey color. That's what I'm wearing today. These glide on like a, like a really nice gel formula. And then you can uh, smudge them out a little bit if you want. It's really nice. This is a really pretty color if you have blue eyes. This is sort of a neutral brown. Um, leans maybe slightly cool, but to me it's, it seems very neutral. This is what I have on my eyes today, and this is all I have on my eyes. So I put this on my lid, and I took a fluffy brush and just blended it out to the crease just to see if I could just, you know, just for like a quick everyday look. And then I drug it underneath my eye as well. This is really nice. I might actually go in and look to see if there's other colors I want because at 20% off, this would be a good time to get them. It's really nice. Where It seems to wear really well. And I didn't own any, so I wanted to try that. And then I picked up a couple of other things. So I picked up the Perfection Lumiere Velvet Foundation. So this is one of the Chanel foundations that actually works for me. Um, and I, I'm totally out of it, so I figured at 20% off this was a good time to get it. Now, the IT Cosmetics CC Plus is my favorite foundation for everyday wear. But we're coming into summer, and for me, if it's a super hot, humid day, and I have to go to an event that's like outside or something, that IT Cosmetics CC Cream will break down a little bit on me. Um, later in the day and I don't like that when I'm at an event. This will not. Um, also with the IT, I can make the IT CC cream last if I heavily powder it, but on my mature skin it's nicer if I don't wear powder, so I don't like to do that. This foundation is much more of a matte foundation. I don't, it's not matte, it's matte, I would call it matte-ish. I am wearing this today. It's one of my favorite foundations outside of that it cosmetics one because it goes on the skin I would call it a medium coverage it feels very light on the skin when you put it on today I put it on with my Artiste um, oval 7 brush I still think this brush is amazing for putting on foundation and I am not a use a brush for your foundation person at all so I was really surprised by that it did work really well with this foundation as well um, I'm in the color 20 beige which is slightly too dark for me right now but I have no color because it has not been warm here at all. So, and this will be perfect for me in the summer. It worked fine today, but it is just a little bit deep for me. I do really like this. Again, it's really lightweight. It's sort of a matte-ish formula. It's not matte. It's sort of like this velvety texture on the skin. It feels very, your skin looks very much like skin still when you put this on. Um, it, it doesn't settle in my pores, it doesn't settle in my fine lines because it's a super lightweight, but it gives decent coverage. 
Um, and I do like, on a humid, humid day, I do like wearing this foundation. It's really nice. It has SPF 15, which isn't really a lot, but there's a little bit of sunscreen in it as well. So again, I really like this. It's super lightweight. I also like that it's in a, you know, it's not fancy. It's a plastic bottle, so if you have to travel with it, it's really easy. And then the last thing I got from Chanel, I think this is a new product to them. It is the Hydra Beauty Flash Balm. So the Hydra line from Chanel is a, it's just strictly hydration. So if you get, if your skin gets really dehydrated, then you could try this line. What I, it provides great hydration, the line does. One of the reasons I don't use it is because the scent is very, um, it's very heavily fragranced. Um, and that, to me, sometimes, I don't like that all the time. But I wanted to try this new balm because I'd heard such great things about it. Now this is a, this is a balm you could use, uh, it's, I think it's meant to be used over your serum. So do you do your, you know, your serum and then you put this on like a moisturizer. I actually don't use it that way and that isn't sort of why I bought it. I bought it to use when I'm having, when my skin is really, really dehydrated to use this right before my makeup just to sort of work it, you know, like a, it's a thicker balm. I'll show it to you. It's just like a white, but it's a pretty thick, I like that it's in a tube. Good for you, Chanel, not in a jar. It's just a thick white, I don't know if you can see it because of the lights. There you go. It's just a thick white balmy consistency but it absorbs into the skin pretty quickly and it like as you start working it into the skin it just sort of gets absorbed into the skin and it does give the skin a really soft texture and it does plump it immediately so if you have really dehydrated skin this might be really good for you the reason I bought it was for days when I'm really dehydrated to just use a little bit right under my before my makeup in areas where when I'm dehydrated like the skin around this area of my face just gets really like wrinkly looking and parched and so I thought I would pat this in um, on days like that or on if you have dry patches on your skin like sometimes I'll get dry patches here and there just to press it on those dry patches right before I do my makeup um, it seems to work really well I've used it a couple times it seems really nice again very highly fragranced though so if fragrance and you don't get along or your skin doesn't like fragranced items, I would suggest trying before you buy. So those are the things that I bought from Chanel. Not a ton of things, but some things that I wanted to get and it was a 20% discount, so why not? Again, if you're interested in buying anything from Chanel, I will put Dante's information below. I have, they do this twice a year at this Chanel counter in, it's at a Dillard's in Tennessee. Um, you can't get it at Dillard's online or anything like that. You have to go through him. But they do it twice a year. I've purchased from him before. I, obviously, I purchased from him again. It Like, when do you get Chanel makeup at a 20% discount? I just, I have to get some things when it's 20% off. And they do this huge Chanel gift basket with makeup and skincare and fragrance. And if you make a purchase, you get your name you, you get your name in a drawing to maybe win that, and I would love to one day maybe win that, but um, I needed some Chanel things, and why not get it at a discount and free shipping? So those are the items I got. Again, his information will be below. It is his cell phone. Feel free to call him or text him. He was, he's been very helpful with me. He's picked out great colors for me when I've needed him to help me with color choices in the past as well, so he's really good at that. You could ask him. He's a really good makeup artist, so... Um, not that he's done my makeup, but I have seen pictures of the makeup he's done and it's beautiful. So, um, I highly recommend if you need any Chanel that you give him a call and get 20% off. It goes until the 28th of April. So you have about a week, um, a little less than a week, I guess, to get that taken care of. Um, that is it for today. Um, hopefully you guys found this helpful. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day and I will talk to you again soon.